Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Man, we got a damn good show for y'all today. Alyssa Milano was on The View. Because of that stupid tweet she put out the other day. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, when you put, okay, The View is like a damn train wreck to begin with. Yeah. Now you add, adding another train wreck to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these thoughts that was ex- expressed on this show. Yeah, it's. Um, it was mind-numbingly stupid. Baffling. Bewildering. I would say disturbing. I got another one. It was batshit crazy. <laughs> Let's go with the first video. Yeah. This going to be a long video, though. Yeah. Please welcome back Alyssa Milano. Woo, she looking good, boy. She's still fine. She's still fine, boy. I don't like your politics, but you're still fine, girl. Look at you. Oh, man, you looking good, man. What the hell? What are these people... What are people wearing masks for? <laughs> Why y'all still wearing masks? This is like, okay, I find everything about this show just weird. Hypocrisy. Like, the audience is wearing masks, yeah. but the hosts are not. Yeah, I mean, every host on that show, y'all coming off, it, it, it feels like y'all are kings and queens. Elitist. And elitist, <laughs> and everybody in your audience is just plebs, just minions. Sheep. Seals, millions. Do, do y'all actually think viruses only travel six feet? Yeah. Y'all just think viruses be yeah. The the damn audience. I mean the damn the host. They can fix them viruses flying. Fuck off me. That shit's flying all over the place. Y'all think viruses just fly six feet and they like. Damn, six feet got him. <laughs> no, man, that room is air conditioned. That shit's all over the place. Y'all, got, I bet you, I, how much you want to bet that audience is vaccinated? Yeah, boosted. Boosted. Fully boosted. Still wearing mask. And your damn host ain't. Y'all don't find that hypocritical? No, you don't. You know why? Because you're sheep. Seals. Yeah, y'all always y'all y'all always clapping and shit when they say something. I'm like, oink, 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 oink. y'all are sheep. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's the year 2023. How can somebody be this? Ignorant? It's not 2023. It was 2022, right? You said it was 2023. Sorry, I had a Biden moment. <laughs> it's 2022, and it's is. I find it very. You know what this is? This is tribal thinking, man. Tribal thinking can be a detriment to society. To your Both life. on the left and the right, but yeah. especially on the left. Yeah. This is a detriment to critical thinking. Yeah, detrimental. All right, let's go but to the— wait a minute. Stop rushing. Man, M- Melissa, I mean Alyssa. Man, it, that, and her name always told me. I want to call her Melissa, but it's Alyssa. Why you got to be different? Why you got to be difficult? I like Alyssa. I like Melissa better. It's easy. It rolls off the tongue better. She look like a Melissa, don't she? Yeah, she do. You know what they say about them Melissas? <laughs> hey, what was you going to say? Hey, hey, I've been a big fan of you for a long time. Big fan. Both of us, right? Both of us have been big fans. Yeah, big fan. Big fan. Your politics suck, though, but hey, hey, Alyssa, big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Big fans over here. <laughs> Big fans. All right, I remember one episode she was on Guy. Hey, Light. Kevin, this video's gonna be long as shit. How no, long do you want to talk about this? Uh, no, I'm just saying we, I was watching Guy and Light with Daddy. <laughs> she <laughs> wasn't on the Guy and Light. That was her, man. She had this little pink. Uh, she had this. Um, she had some Daisy Dukes on, and she had a um, what's she, some shirt? She had it tied off at a knot, <laughs> right? And she and she had pigtails. I can't find the picture anyway. But I remember I was looking, and I was like, damn. And then I looked over my daddy. <laughs> my dad's like, what the. <laughs> I don't think it was her. That was her, man. That was that was Alyssa, man. I'm telling you. All right, next video. God in life, rest up. Shut up! <laughs> Last trip, which was in October, was to Egypt. <coughs> oh, which was fascinating. I mean, there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of things, yeah, obviously, that are are that, uh, that are really oh. tough, like female genital mutilation, mutilation yeah. child marriage, all of those things. But I do feel like there's a lot of hope in Egypt. Mm-hmm. UNICEF Moving has amazing yeah. programs that are yeah. on the ground that are empowering young women and young men on equality and equity. And it was an incredible, incredible journey. 
Have, do you see the expression on her face? It's like every picture she showed up, she had this expression like, I can't wait to get the hell out of here. <laughs> He's like, she, like she's confused. Like, <laughs> why am I even here? I'm... <laughs> hey, you did say something, though, about that, that in Egypt, about child mutilation. We're totally against that. Yeah, because they do that to girls. They yeah, think they... it keeps them from being a whore. They yeah. chop off the clitoris. Yeah. That's like, that's equivalent to taking a dude's mushroom tip, chop the head off. Like, that's going to stop you from cheating. Still got a shaft. You, you can't get hard if you got no head. <laughs> you can't get hard without the head. The head is where all the sensitivity. The shaft don't count for nothing? It don't count for shit. Think about when you masturbate. Where you at? You stay right there with that head. <laughs> if you just got a shaft, that shit ain't going to get hard. It ain't going to get hard? Hell no. Man, I think you're wrong on you that. You ain't going to be able to impregnate and shit. <laughs> you ain't got no head going. You crazy as hell. Anyway, let's get back to the subject. Let's get back. We're against child mutilation. Um, forced marriage. Yeah. Forced marriage? Yeah. We're against that. Get we agree head. with you. But is it fair for is it is it our choice? It's the parents, right? I mean, you start to sound like a colonizer. <laughs> That's that culture. That's that culture. That's a sovereign country. What you say doesn't matter to those people. But I do agree with you. Yeah. Right? I do agree with you. But you, on the other hand, think it's okay for parents here in this country yeah. to have push this gender ideology on the kids and have girls get their tits chopped off. And mushroom tips chopped off. Gender reveal parties. Drugs for prepubescent kids. Yeah. Chemical castration. Um, Cast what? Cast chemical castration. <laughs> they chem the same... Chemical yeah. castration. Also, ripping uteruses out of young girls yeah. to affirm their gender. And when you take your, when you go get your uterus taken out, you still a woman. You just a damn uterusless woman. <laughs> when you chop your tits off, you still a woman. You just a titless woman. <laughs> yeah. If you, if, if I'm you, a dude and I get my mushroom tip chopped off, I'm still a dude. I'm a dickless dude. <laughs> <laughs> you should. If if you're against what's going on in Egypt, why? Why are you not against that on kids here in America? Let them do it when they're 18, when they're adults. Yeah. They both the same thing. It's these decisions are being made by their parents. Yeah. Same thing in Egypt. Same thing here in America. Yeah. I think it should be left up to the child when they become 18 who they want to marry or if they want to cut the clit off or if they want to be a man or girl. Yeah. We both should agree on that, right? Nope. She's a Democrat. They hypocrites. You think this is wrong in uh, Egypt? Uh -huh. But that shit is A-OK -okay in America because that's what Democrats push. That's the Democrat ideology. Tribal thinking. Next video. Five years ago, you helped the movement go viral when you tweeted Still hashtag me too. Damn, now, Toronto said we have to be careful about how we frame the progress. We have to look at it, what it's made possible. Are you happy with the progress so far? And what do you know next? I'm not happy with the progress. I mean, until we first of all, women are not in the Constitution of the United States of America until we pass that Equal Rights Amendment where we have protections in our Constitution. I will not be happy. What the hell did they pass in 1964? It was the 1964 Civil Rights Act. 1964? It was 1964. Congress passed it. What is you it? cannot discriminate against anyone based on their sex. Oh, race, right? Race. It, it, I'm, 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 I'm talking about sex because she's talking about women, like as yeah. if women don't have equal rights in this country I mean, as a what, man. What right does a man have that a woman don't have? What right? Just name one. Just one. Trans is not in the uh, Constitution. When the Founding Fathers wrote their Constitution, they never foreseen this crazy shit they're doing today. <laughs> they're not in there, but they still have equal rights because they're yeah. protected under the 1964 yeah. Civil Rights Act. The Constitution doesn't have to spell out everything. It yeah. doesn't. Does the Constitution... It refers to everybody as man. Yeah. Which it refers... Which is open for debate, but when they wrote it for man, it's supposedly, nowadays, it's for man and woman. Yeah, same shit. Like, it don't say in the Constitution either. You know what? If you get women in the Constitution, I want not in that too. How about that? I think it's a, it's a stretch. I would go to Negro. No, nah, sounds nobody called me You're a Negro. <laughs> You're a Negro. <laughs> ne I don't like Negro ne neither. Negro. No, I, I, don't, I don't like Negro. I don't like I prefer colored. <laughs> you like colored, huh? Yeah, I joking. prefer colored too. No, I'm joking. No, you sounds dumb. cool. I'm colored. <laughs> you can't discriminate. You can't 
discriminate. Discriminate. Against- <laughs> you can't discriminate against women. It's against the law. Y'all, act, women actually have more rights than dudes. Yeah. Like a woman, I could impregnate a woman. She said, I'm going to go get up and say, get a boy. I said, no, you can't. That's my kid. You can't do that. She said, the hell with you. I'm going over there. I'm going to kill this nigga. <laughs> She can even be white and say that shit to me. I'm going to kill this nigga. Yeah, I can't terminate my kids, but y'all can. Yeah, what rights do men have that women don't have? I can think of a lot of stuff women have over men. Y'all got all the power, man. You, you want to know why? Because them sugar walls. Yeah, and y'all don't even use it. Y'all don't call even... it sexist when you don't use it. Yeah. Just because men think like that? <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know how much power y'all got over men. Yeah, y'all could run the world, man. Y'all just too stupid, though. Y'all could walk in actually into the Oval Office right now with Barnett, promise him some kind of sexual favor. He will sign an executive order for anything you want. Especially the kid, Hunter. Well, he's not the president. Well, 10% for the big guy, remember? <laughs> you could, whatever. Next video. <laughs> uh, you know, your name popped up over the weekend when you tweeted that you, you returned your Tesla. So um, you used to be a supporter of Elon Musk's vision. <laughs> yes. What happened? What changed your mind? Well, pause it, pause I mean, it. Just pause me... it right there. Well, we started that. Our, our Twitter account actually started that whole. Yeah. This she. The only reason why she's on that show because we responded to her during this tweet and it blew up. Yeah. Everybody's talking about it. She That's could, why Alyssa's on um, the viewer. Yeah. Right she uh, she took back her Tesla yeah. and got a Volkswagen electric vehicle. Yeah, And we pointed out, our Twitter account pointed out, that Volkswagen was started by Nazis. It was the people's car. Yeah. It was, uh, Hitler actually founded, it was a state-owned company. Yeah. I mean, the, y'all remember those cars? What was it, the Beetle? That car even sounded racist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you remember how it, nigger, <laughs> nigger, <laughs> nigger, 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 nigger. It's breaking down. It's breaking down. I need all time. <laughs> all right, but that's why she's on there. Go ahead and um, play the rest. Yeah, they ain't going to bring it. Well, I mean, for me, speaking of Me Too, when he was accused of sexual misconduct and paid out $250,000 to this, to this person, I decided, like, I can't live in that hypocrisy of driving that car when, what? you know, yeah. uh, that happened. Wait a minute. When someone makes an accusation, you got to be able to prove in a court of law. You just don't. You know, women lie sometimes, you know. You no, know, women not perfect. Yeah, just because someone, you do realize he's a billionaire, right? You do realize he's a target? Yeah. I mean, even I've been extorted. Well, they tried to extort you. I tell you, I don't give a shit. I ain't give you nothing. Tell everybody whatever the hell you want to tell them. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah. People with money, they are targets. And most of these allegations, I would say 99.9% is false. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened, but just because he paid some money to a woman yeah. to, to make this go away, yeah. I mean, it doesn't prove anything. Like, yeah. look at you women. You all are famous. You're rich. Yeah. Do y'all live among the common folk? Nope. Nope, because you're a target. If somebody comes out with an allegation, do we, should we automatically believe them? Of course not. Yeah, so you— people lie. People have ulterior motives. Yeah, so you want us to believe, Alyssa, that you took that damn car back because of this allegation? Yeah. No, you took it back because he bought Twitter yeah. and he brought free speech back to the platform that's yeah. in the Constitution. Remember, you was talking about you want women in the Constitution? This is in the Constitution, freedom of speech. Yeah. He brought that back to the platform. Yeah, man. But you want us to believe you took the car back over an allegation. Oh, come on. We ain't as dumb as you are. We smart over here. I don't here. think she's dumb. I think she's, she's uh, biased. She, no, I only think she's biased. I think someone paying her to do this. I think she's just lying because she's a... Uh, um, She's a um, she's a Democrat shield. Well, that too. I think you are you are you are the reason why you're on this show. You're there to put out this particular message, this narrative, this false allegations about about Elon Musk and all these liberal policies and all these liberal mis wrongs. What you're saying? I mean, all this stuff you you're saying could be easily ridiculed and debunked easily. Nothing yeah. you said today was true. None none of it. You took the call back. I mean, just taking it back. I mean, yeah, you ain't doing nothing. You took the call back. Somebody else. I mean, you took the call back. Yeah. Because of an allegation, not because. Yeah. He bought Twitter and brought. Yeah. Trump this, back and he he brought 
Just uh, speak the truth. You took the car back because you don't like his politics. That's why you if did If you would have said that, I would have had much more respect for you. Yeah, but you up there talking about an allegation. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I was born last, I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. I almost <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I was born at night, girl, but it wasn't last night. Yeah. Still a big fan, though. Big fan over here. Let's shoot a movie together. <laughs> <laughs> make you know, a, children's, you know, make, make, the, make, we can make a move, but we go to Egypt and, and, and uh, save some kids, bring them over to America, and then you uh, transgender them into female. <laughs> It'd be a good old, yeah, you can, it'd be you a good old American hot, warm store. Yeah, you can play Madonna, and you like one of the black kids that Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's get serious on this. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Next video. Also, I'm kind of like, like I, I'm so annoyed with all of these these billionaires, with like the ex exception of a few, but especially Elon Musk, like. You buy Twitter to destroy it yeah. for $40 billion, yeah. right? $40 billion. Elon Musk, imagine if he donated that money to UNICEF. I know. Yeah. He would change the world. There, yeah. would, be, there would be no hunger. He would. He, would he could go in his pocket and donate that money. He could go in his pocket and it wouldn't cost $40 it billion. Cost but these, 40 billion. these guys, I mean. I'm... You know what? He could donate $44 billion to UNICEF. It's still not going to uh, solve world hunger. Yeah. And you know what? It's probably going to be a bunch of new millionaires walking around. <laughs> and all of them going to be working. It's going to be a lot of millionaires. <laughs> them kids still going to be hungry. Yeah. Did y'all? Are you pushing this idea on other billionaires to do this? Name one billionaire that's donated forty thousand million to charity. Just one. Why does Elon Musk? Why, why does why y'all hold him? Shut up! Why do moderates and conservatives have to do? Why do moderates and conservatives have to go above and beyond to satisfy y'all? Yeah, there's no Democrats doing this. <laughs> Hell, what's that dude Bezos? That dude made a damn penis spaceship, and I think it blew up. <laughs> I think that was a, I don't know how much money it was, but yeah, it was he made a spaceship that looked just like a cock. <laughs> Like he was hit, giving some kind of signal to a bunch of pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, are you pushing this idea on other billionaires who are fall in line with your politics? No, you just you, you just, just you're just full of shit. You just don't like him because of his politics. Yeah. What, at one minute you're for the Constitution, next minute you're not. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a billionaire. There's this, absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah. Actually, he enriched a lot of people's lives. He enriched your life until you gave it away and went and got that Nazi car. <laughs> Did you hear all those seals in the audience clapping? Yeah. Oink, 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 oink. And you ain't even said nothing. <laughs> yeah. You said something stupid. Oink, 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 oink. Yeah, man. You people, man. man. That's what y'all there for, to be seals. Yeah. Oink, oink, oink. That sound like a pig, don't it? <laughs> sound like half pig, half seed. <laughs> Y'all get the gist of what I'm trying to say over here. Oink, oink. How you doing? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> You sound like a seal, man. Seals sound like pigs. Do you know that? I bet you don't taste as good as a pig. Don't nothing taste good as a pig. Bacon. And that damn bacon and sausage. Oh, man. That's the best tasting animal on this planet. Damn ribs. Chicken ain't got nothing. I mean, it. Man, if I if I, I could live on pork the rest of my life, I eat bacon and mashed potatoes. <laughs> I eat some I eat a damn bacon and sausage and mashed potato sandwich. Take that damn take that damn sausage, make some gravy with it, and put it on your mashed potatoes. Sausage and gravy. All right, I think we got some more videos. How man. the hell we get on pigs? I don't know. What did she say? I don't know. It's stupid anyway. No, what did she say? I got distracted over here. Won't you get serious on this shit? I am serious. What did she say? She said something stupid. <laughs> Let's go to the next video, man. What, what did we uh, re refute? What yeah, refuted what he said. It was stupid. Okay, anyway. yeah, I can't remember. She All was right. talking about giving forty billion dollars to Yusef, and we oh. told her it's gonna be a whole bunch of me. <laughs> <laughs> Money corrupts people. Ain't no way in hell you give forty bit man. How much we give to Ukraine? They steal these. 
<laughs> they, we're giving Ukraine like forty billion dollars, like every three months, every quarter. Uh, we've gave them a lot of money. I don't know how much, but it's been billions. I don't billions. know where that money going. It ain't buying grenades or guns. Or yeah, as some, of, I'm sure some of it is. Oh, but, I'm sure it is. Some of it is. All right, I'm next, just saying not all of uh, it. Next video. Um, I do have a legal note. Elon Musk has denied these allegations of sexual misconduct, oh, calling them <laughs> utterly untrue. Um, in your opinion, um, let me ask you this then. What happens if things continue the way they are on Twitter? I think it's become a hellscape, but it's been a hellscape for a minute. <laughs> I mean, I was always on the the receiving end of Same. trolls, right? Yeah. So, Same like, to me, it doesn't feel any different mm. but you know i always open twitter with like yeah oh, you know what i mean like with a helmet on because i'm so scared like something's gonna oh, come yeah. out and hit me yeah look what? the reason why you feel that way about twitter because you always saying some dumb shit on there that's why we say what we say it from my twitter account she said it was a hellscape what's her name light skin red bone what's her name sunny yeah sunny sunny host yeah red bone that's a, a gender neutral name sunny yeah, she said it's a hellscape. Um, what makes it a hellscape? Because somebody disagrees with you. <laughs> That's the whole point of the platform. You can call it a hellscape if you see a bunch of Nazis, a bunch of KKK members, or that flying flag, kill all the ends, and say, That's a hellscape. But if someone simply disagrees with you, that's open debate. It's called debating. It's called an open forum. Yeah, the, uh, Twitter is the new town forum. That's, yeah. that's the whole purpose of the platform. It doesn't make it a hellscape. Yeah. Just because you have people that disagree with you. Yeah. That what that's what makes America America. That's how society advances through yeah. debate. Yeah. Yeah. If that's how society that, moves forward. If debate. everybody agree with one and if if you Alyssa, Sonny, Whoopi, I don't know the other two white women's name. They just sales anyway. If everybody agree with you, that would make y'all what? Queens? What? Make y'all queens. Y'all want everybody to follow you. Yeah, this, king, 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 yeah, queen. y'all, queens y'all, queens. y'all just being like elitist at this point. Yeah, that's the it's whole, okay if somebody disagree with you. It doesn't make it a oh, fuck it. Like people disagree with me, and it's usually some batshit crazy shit. Yeah, but usually when people disagree with you, they catch you in a lie or a mis, yeah. uh, 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 untruth, I untrue want, thing. Shut up. You you say something that's untrue, and they refute what you say. And now, I mean, won't you stop saying stupid shit on Twitter? Yeah, I love when people debate me. I love when people disagree with me because I'm ready for your ass. As soon as you say something stupid or conflict what I'm saying or conflate things, I'm going to respond. I'm going to put you in your place. I'm going to make you feel this big because I can defend my arguments. I can stand on my firm ground and defend whatever I say. Yeah, you, but you get in trouble because you shut up. The reason why you don't like Twitter is because you don't do your research. And you, more the majority of the time, you're just virtue signaling. Yeah, you can't defend what you're putting out there in the world. You taking that damn call back because of an allegation that can't be proven in court of law. And you wouldn't got a got you well, wouldn't got a damn car that's it what was founded by damn Nazis. <laughs> You crazy as hell. She also mentioned white supremacy when she took the car back. Who the that, hell's a white supremacist? Elon Musk is. How the hell is he a white supremacist? Because <laughs> he believes in freedom of speech. <laughs> Yo, crazy as hell. <laughs> Man, what the hell is wrong with you women? We got one more video. You got one more? Yeah, this uh, this is from the entire episode. This show is my number. <laughs> um, Do you think you'll stay on it? Yeah, because we can't cede that territory. Mm. It's like a turf war now. Turf uh-huh. war. That's no, how I look at it. And not, we can't, not I that, can't. Not that, that one you don't. There's other ones you can she come fine. and grab, she leave she that to them, because that's what that is meant fine. to Dumb be as hell, though. It's not meant to be any better. <laughs> but if we're not dumb. representing our yeah. side of of the the of political what? discourse, aren't we st- Aren't we just saying, you know what, you can have Twitter. You hand it well, over. I'll tell you, some some things you have to walk away from until you can, can get the control you need of it. What? Right now, there's no way to get this control. Yeah. And so find the ones that you can get and fix what? and then come back and run that over. Right. But run them over. <laughs> She openly admitted to everybody in front of millions of people they don't have control of Twitter anymore. Yeah, and they, they want to control it. Y'all, okay. The, no, I, can, I think it's one more video after this. No, the, um, the comments. No, um, um. You got one more video after this. Yeah, but l- let me let me comment on what I just saw. Like, d- this is a turf war. This is not drugs. <laughs> like you a drug dealer on the corner. What are y'all, what are y'all, bloods and crips? <laughs> a turf war. <laughs> Look, 
All Elon Musk did was make it an equal platform for both sides. Yeah, see, y'all got that tribal thinking going. See, your problem is y'all looking at liberal versus conservative. It's no such thing as liberal and conservative. It's the hell out the way. It's no such thing as liberal and conservative. It's what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. It's the only thing that matters. Yeah. You ladies are wrong. The whole <laughs> show, you've been wrong. <laughs> liberal, Turf war. conservative, moderate, it doesn't matter. None of those labels mean anything. It's a matter of what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, it's like. It's like, it's about, shut up. It's about working together. We need the left. I don't know why, but we need you. Because we'll go too far right, you know? Yeah. And if we go too far, that's why we need people on the left. Because if you go too far right, this place going to turn into a damn theocracy. And people will get thrown in jail for being homosexual. Well, and, <laughs> and for and, having anal sex. <laughs> and getting blowjobs. I hey, don't want to ever see that. Uh, how's your plea? I'm guilty, you us. She sucked a, me. My uh, wife sucked me off. And I visit the glory home, homosexual. <laughs> that damn judge be like, guilty, sodomy, 55 years hard labor. <laughs> Just for getting sucked off. Yeah. I don't wanna... And we need the right because you don't want to go too far left. If you yeah. go too far left. You have you... men competing against women. <laughs> you have men competing with women. You have damn people walk around in masks. You can't go into certain damn restaurants unless you're vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. What else? It's all kinds of crazy shit. I, they didn't did some of this crazy shit on the left. I can't remember it all. You need a damn uh, vaccine passport just to fly on a plane or travel somewhere. You got to get a, vac- a passport. You got to get a vaccine. You got to get a vaccine passport just to go outside. <laughs> Dude, that was coming. We need, actually, we, uh, I ain't going to say we actually need each other, but that's the, the yeah, cliche. Man, no, that they, shut up. That's the cliche thing to say, you know. We need no, both well, sides. Well, it, it's, it's true. I mean, that's why we need both sides. Because yeah. look, look what happened. Y'all ladies, y'all are bright. You're intelligent. I think, I mean, somewhere you got to have at least a couple brain cells. But the reason why y'all think the way y'all do is because y'all listen. Y'all live in an echo chamber. Y'all, yeah. don't, y'all not willing to listen to both sides. Right. If you're willing to listen to both sides, you will get both sides. That's why I look at CNN. I look at Young Turks. I look at, um, who else? What's that other fool? Uh, Dr. Sean Rick. Oh, he a, yeah. That yeah, dude he crazy. ain't a fool. He's a, he's a biased idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen to everybody because I want to understand how everybody. He's not a biased idiot. He's biased he's and ignorant. Chamber. Yeah. yeah, he's put, yeah. He's, he's a racist. I had to do that very same thing because, you know, being conservative, sometimes we put ourselves in an echo chamber. I don't yeah. ever want to be in an echo chamber. I, I want to listen to both sides. That's the whole point of Twitter. That's the whole point of freedom of speech. All right, next next video. Do yourself. I know it is about fame. self-care. Yeah, yeah it is. So, well, don't Do read the comments. Well, do you you do not read never the comments. ever read the comments. I always read the comments. And Especially never, when they who say doesn't the read the comments? The comments Everybody get worse the as comments. you go down the line. I know. You can never. <laughs> I know. Whoopi and Joy taught us that. When don't we, read the jo- comments. When we each join the show. Do you turn the comments read. off? No, I just don't read them. I'm not interested unless it's somebody that I respect. Yeah. What? Elitist. You, re- you only look at comments to somebody you respect. I guarantee you, 99.9% of them are liberal. Yeah. You know, how, this- how, do you, how do you, you're an elitist. A common person, you don't know who they are, but just because they give you uh, uh, criticism, yeah. unless you. They're not on your level. On your level, you don't. That's like you're an elitist. You admitted it to everybody. I don't listen to everybody. Only people I respect. If you don't, like when I put out stuff out there, I've been wrong on Twitter. Yeah. I've been wrong. And then I go to the comments and say, you know what? He's right. He's right. He's right. You know what? I'm going to delete this shit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I learned from it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you, that's why it's so important to read the comments. But you ladies, hey, y'all listen. put yourself, y'all, y'all put yourself in an echo chamber and just surround you with a bunch of f- freaking seals that agree with you. All right, now shut up. Look, how do you know you're right if you don't read the comments? I mean, you could be right and still, you can still be right and all the comments be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if you read the comments, you can see other people's point of view. Yeah. How do you automatically know that what you tweeted or what you posted is automatically right? Yeah. You're not perfect. Even I realize that. Yeah. And I'm a white supremacist. I mean, if you don't read the comments... <laughs> Ain't no damn white supremacy. Well, that's what they call us. The black face of white supremacy. Man, Elon Musk is actually an African American and he's a white supremacist. And he's a red bone. He's he a red bone. He's light skinned. He's light skinned. Hey, look here. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, okay. This is what I remembered. Had a Biden moment. Hey, look here. 
if you're not going to read the comments, that's like, that's like looking at TV with no sound, you know? That's like the peanut butter and jelly without the jelly. That's like the eggs without the bacon. That's like, I ain't going to say that. That's like, um, that's like a penis without the head. That's what I was going to say. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the first one. That's like watching a movie without no damn sound. Y'all just want to be surrounded. That's like a foot with no toes. <laughs> That's like a vagina with no clitoris. That's like a vagina without the hole. <laughs> it's just fake. That's like the anus without the intestines. All right, that's enough. Yeah. That's like the face with no eyes. Yeah, what's the point of having a face if you can't see it? <laughs> well, they can't, you, know, you can't see them. I mean, everything, this is why we have freedom of speech. You know who's... The good guys, and you know who's the wrong guys. Y'all admitted a lot of things that you shouldn't have said out loud. <laughs> and everything you said could have been easily ridiculed and debunked. Yeah. That's why, as a society, we was able to progress. That's why you because ladies have rights now. Yeah. That's why, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, you're not a slave. Yeah. Because of that. And y'all want to ruin it and say Elon Musk is trying to ruin Twitter because he values free speech. Yeah. Y'all crazy as hell. Oh, damn good show. Told you it's going to be a damn good show. Damn good show. For more damn good shows, click one of these two videos right here. Yeah, we got some new comedy shows. We're coming to Houston, coming to Arlington, yeah. coming to Corpus Crisp, Corpus Crisp, uh, Corpus, Corpus Christi. <laughs> <laughs> we're, co we're coming to, oh, uh, what's that one place? Tip, Arizona. Not that one, other one. All the way uh, Manchester, Connecticut. Yeah, we're coming to Manchester. We ain't going on the black side. Yeah, I, I went that one time. I said, nope, nope, never again. That yeah, was dangerous. And, I, and the people that came to my show, I'm sorry. You're a p true patriots. <laughs> yeah, go to hawkswinstore.com for tickets. Y'all let everybody know. Let these women know in the comments. You know what? They should change the name of The View. Y'all shouldn't call it that. You should call it the inside the darkness of a liberal mind. No, nah, the dark side of the liberal mind. Yeah, that's what you should call it. It's kind of like, uh, what's that, um, what's that show? Oh, fuck it. 